Hey, this is Brian Fitzgerald again with Dolt Hub. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add data to your new database on Dolt Hub by using our Edit Like a Spreadsheet option and by using an SQL insert statement online on Dolt Hub. So let's get started. First, we're going to navigate back to my database that I created in the last video. And we're going to see our favorite teams table here. Now to edit this online is very simple. We're going to click on the pencil here or pen, and I'm going to go to the spreadsheet editor. If you are familiar to uploading a CSVs or CSVs in general, this is going to be just like uploading a CSV um, to Dolt Hub, but instead of you creating it, we're going to use this editor and Dolt Hub is going to create it for you. So all we have to do is come in here and start typing in our teams. And you might learn a little bit about me as I fill this out. Great, so I'm not gonna type them all in there. So we've added um, the flyers in there as the first team into the database. I'm gonna go to upload table. Thought Hub is gonna save this as a CSV. And now we can see our changes to the data uh, in the database. I'm going to click next. I'm going to create a commit message in here so I know what I just added. If someone wants to come back and review this, even though this one will be pretty obvious. And when we hit commit changes, this is going to create a new pull request for you. So when the pull request gets uh, created, this is either going to give yourself or a team member the ability to review what you've done and um, approve, deny, or uh, merge the pull request into the database. So when we have this pull request created, we're going to say view the diff. And here we're going to see that we're adding um, the flyers as the first team into the database. So if that all checks out and looks good, we can go back to the pull request. If someone is reviewing it for you, they can just tell you that it looks good to them or leave other notes in here on what they need to do um, can comment there and then once you're good to go you can go ahead and merge that data uh, into your database all right great don't have a lot us know that this has successfully been merged we can go back to the database and let's uh, go ahead and refresh the view on this and now we can see that we've added the flyers to the database. Now adding these one by one um, could be a little bit long. So the other option is we could create an insert statement using um, the online query option. So I have one prepared. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this just to show you what that looks like. And just like before, we've now uh, run this statement. So and we can take a look at the diff and see what we've added. All right, great, so that looks right to me. So now I can create this pull request and it's gonna be the same workflow as before. Now, when you do this online, you do create a workspace. So we can change the name of this workspace um, to make it something a little bit more uh, descriptive. And then everything would be the same as before. We can review this pull request if we're working together with someone or we can just merge it into the database. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge this in. And let's go back to the database. And this one time it's actually already refreshed. And now we have all of my favorite teams in the database. Hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, if you want to let us know what else you want to see uh, in the comments or by sending us a note online. Have a great day.